H1 or Sterex, the names are different, but the essence is one. An inexpensive and good South Korea minibus is extremely popular with US. Today it's time to find out the real reasons for his success in the seconds. The first generation Hyundai Sterex appeared in 1996 and immediately became popular, and not only in Korea. The car was offered in two versions of the wheelbase with different types of organization of the internal space, in cargo, passenger, and hybrid versions. Five engines to choose from, four diesels and two gasoline, the ability to install an all-wheel drive system. An alternative to the MCP-5 was a six-speed automatic. In 2017, the car was greatly updated. The start of production of the second generation of the model was in South Korea in 2007. Grand Sterex, this is how the car was christened at home, and it came to us and to Europe under the name H1. In 2012, the minivan, and in our opinion a typical minibus, went through a restyling. It is worth recognizing that most of the buses that came to Russia arrived by an unofficial route, no longer new, getting, of course, immediately to the secondary market. And here the real hunt is open for them. The main difficulty of this hunt is to intercept the least used car with more or less same mileage. Real mileage on the odometer is rare for Sterex. And it seems that it was not only our suppliers and resellers who twisted it, but also Korean ones. But even with the disguised mileage, such a purchase made sense. The machine attracts with its simplicity of design and high maintainability. Bearing body, longitudinally mounted engine and rear wheel drive, in 2013 a version with 4WD appeared. Of the bodies, with unchanged dimensions, there were a three-seater van, a six-seater station wagon and a passenger minibus with eight ninths or 11 twelfth seats, only Grand Sterex. The most common was a 2.5 turbo diesel with a boost of 136 to 145 and 170 to 175 horsepower. There is also a 2.4 liter gasoline aspirated engine in the lineup, more typical for Russian versions of the H1 for 174 forces. Let's make a reservation right away, there are many cases when motors traveled up to 500,000 kilometers without overhaul. However, problems do happen to them. So, after 200,000 kilometers, one of the three timing chains can stretch. Its replacement can cost 40,000 rubles, with work. During such a replacement, it is worth checking the balance shaft, it often breaks the block and the latter has to be changed. But if the wear is small, you can get rid of the replacement of the sleeve. It is possible to wait for a turbine failure, repair from 30,000 rubles, starting from a run of 150,000 kilometers. But, as a rule, this happens much later. At about the same stage, fuel injectors are also handed over, about 200,000 kilometers. Among the transmissions are very strong five or six speed manual gearboxes or four, or five-speed automatics. Under the Korean marking, the almost immortal Japanese Jatco JR507E works here, which, when renewing the lubricant every 50,000 kilometers, often nurses more than 300,000 without overhaul. The clutch on the manual gearbox walks up to 200,000 at a kit price of about 25,000 rubles. Problems, rather, should be expected from the body. Cars in Korea are not spoiled with additional anti-corrosive. First of all, the lower edges of the side doors rot. A little later, the fifth door joins them. There are pockets of corrosion under the bottom, but on the running it's not so bad. The replacement intervals here are much higher than average, 100 to 150,000 kilometers, if measured by cars. But the prices for components are moderate, it is difficult to get burned. As, however, and with the electrician. The machine is relatively simple and has a fair margin of safety. So, of the chronic diseases here, only a number of characteristic problems in the cabin can be mentioned. To put it bluntly, it does not shine with special quality and premium. Therefore, premature wear of seats and finishing materials is in the order of things. In a word, prepare a million. It is very difficult to buy a cheerful Sterex cheaper. Transmission. After 150 to 200,000 kilometers, the cross and the cardan outboard bearing require attention. Repair with balancing will cost up to 15,000 rubles. In the automatic transmission, according to tradition, the torque converter, friction clutches, gaskets, and seals wear out. Repair of 100,000 will correct the situation. Alas, the solenoids float a little earlier. The automatic transmission may operate intermittently due to oxidation of the contacts on the control board or due to damage to the wiring. Engine. 
Glow plugs stick to diesels. When replacing them, it is better to soak them. Otherwise, they can break off, which leads to problems up to the removal of the blockhead. Often the plastic valve cover cracks, 5,000 rubles. The intercooler, 17,000 rubles, asks for a replacement every 150 to 200,000 kilometers. On long runs, the oil receiver is clogged with sludge. As a result, the motor lacks lubrication. In addition to the turbine, the crankshaft liners and camshaft beds wear out. Suspension. The silent blocks of the front levers and ball joints require replacement by 150,000 kilometers. Next, the front wheel bearings may hum. They are changed assembled with the hub from 40 hundred rubles. The front springs on the second hundred thousand run sometimes break from 50 hundred rubles. At the rear, you usually have to change only shock absorbers from 3,000 rubles and sagging springs. Replacing a knocking steering rack from 20,000 rubles may be required at the 150,000th run. Body. By 200,000 kilometers, the sliding door rollers wear out. Body iron for the most part is indifferent to corrosion, except for the lower edge of the driver's door. If the car is five years old and the door is in order, then the door was painted. Pipes corrode under the bottom. They are changed after five years. For example, a set of rear heater pipes costs 6,000 rubles and an air conditioner costs 12,000. So long. Sterex, HI, has two modifications, CVX and HVX. The first interior of leatherette and a minimum of options. HVX is richer, genuine leather seats, steering wheel, two sunroofs. In CVX, the driver's seat is torn strictly to 60,000 kilometers. In HVX, due to the leather, the seat lasts longer, but not more than 100 to 120,000 kilometers. So a fresh chair will indicate its constriction, 